We're back. I just wanted to point out before I continue, isn't it convenient that the Ufe happened to be attacking this exact place right as Max is trying to rescue uh, Fabiana, the Ufe being the special police. You'll see them in a second. Just a thought. I guess sobriety is relative. Really? There was a danger of this starting to get too real. More dialogue again. Keep hoping that the narration is gonna kick in. It was a goddamn war zone. I had to assume Giovanna and Marcella were out there somewhere. Maybe I still had a chance to get somebody in that family through the day in one piece. This is where the game starts to become less City of God and far more uh, Elite Squad 2. Both of which I highly recommend, incidentally. Place was swarming with cops. They weren't there for me, as far as I could tell. And I'd blundered my way into enough cluster fucks for one day. If these fools could buy me some time, I might have a chance to get to Marcello and Giovanna before somebody put a bullet in their heads too. No one gets out alive. Giovanna and Marcella were still alive, but I didn't hold out much hope they'd stay that way for long. I'd already lost the ransom money, got the hostage killed, and I was only just getting started. This was turning into another fine example of private security work. Captain Falcon. I'd heard about these raids. <laughs> Get it? Renathugs in body armor sending a message to the poor that the cops are still in charge. When they hit the favelas, they came in hard and fast. And everyone was fair game, as I was about to find out. Lounger. One down here. Anyone? 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 Nope. <laughs> I have no uh, bullet time. Through. 
Gotcha. The odds of me getting out of there alive, let alone Giovanna and Marcello, were narrowing with every passing second. Lady, I'm just here to steal your pain medication. If I filled my body with enough poison, maybe I'd forget I added another dead girl to my rap sheet. Watch this. Yes! Olá, sou o Dr. Arthur Fischer. Sou especializado no aumento de nádegas, seios, dominoplastia e aumento peniano. Faça-me uma visita. Dr. Arthur Fischer, cirurgião plástico e procedimentos. O ataque na sede da empresa do ramo de construção Fábricas Branco, no início dessa semana, foi atribuído ao grupo paramilitar Crachá Preto. O presidente da empresa, Rodrigo Branco, irmão mais velho do candidato a prefeito Vitor Branco, foi morto durante o ataque. Ainda não se tem certeza se o crime tem alguma ligação com o sequestro da senhora Branco, Fabiana, pelos membros de uma gangue de favela na semana passada em um clube noturno. A senhora Branco ainda não foi encontrada. A polícia está buscando mais informações a respeito oh, deste homem, on. cuja imagem foi capturada pelas câmeras de segurança do oh, edifício em chamas. Jesus. A seguir, mais Look notícias. É lindo e irresistível. Você sempre quer mais. We're back to the aggressive frame jobs. O refrigerante com guaraná que te dá energia. Bang! Você vai ter estrelas. I want some bang, eh? This was such a good spot to enjoy the view. Gun in this bitch. Oh. I'm afraid to die. That was the longest grenade warning I've ever seen. And I don't think it actually blew up. Still alive, and still not all that happy about it. Why did the easy way out never come? Maybe I thought I didn't deserve it. I'll be honest, Max, you love this shit. Possible to save this guy, by the way. I've tried. I knew this was all my fault, and there was only one way I dealt with guilt. I know. Drugs.
Jesus Christ, these bastards weren't playing games. These were the same paramilitary cops I had seen executing fools after the failed kidnapping at the party. Nasty business. If these were the guys De Silva was worried about, maybe he had a point. Yes, this was definitely them. Jesus Christ, these bastards made the NYPD look like the Harry Krishnas. What's wrong with the NYPD? I mean, besides all those things that have happened in the last like, I couldn't make much months. sense of what I was seeing, but I had the feeling it wasn't that strange for anyone else. I had no option but to take the scenic route. And there goes my good gun. Motherfuckers. These charmers weren't there to make a couple of arrests. They were bussing them out by the dozen. But who was I to cast judgment on proper police procedure and justifiable use of force? Touché. <laughs> Right, this is definitely gonna take a couple tries. Only because there are cuts everywhere on this map. See? Uh, wait for my weapons to actually switch this time. Not have a pillar in the way. That one is dead. I was correct. Back in black. Shit off. Back here. There's pills or something back here. Nope. Here we go. You ready? Get your pills in midair. It's like they knew I was gonna dive. Oh, come on. Alright. Harder, not smarter. Wait, what? I think I got it backwards. For the record, I'm pulling the trigger way before bullets are actually coming out of my gun. I don't know why Max is so shy. Got him.
It seemed like as good a place as any to lie low and get my bearings. Problem was, some other fine gentleman had the same idea. God damn it, Max. Stop getting robbed. Going from out of luck to unarmed and shit out of luck. Another reminder, not that I needed one, that any low point can always go lower, as my new friends were about to find out. Should have hung out with me, bro. It was Sao Paulo's finest Bros. and a busload of lucky winners they picked out earlier. I decided I might as well follow them. I was lost and they were going somewhere. And it was the closest I was gonna get to a plan. Where were they taking them? Did they have Marcello and Giovanna? Was this just an average favela raid or something more? When all you're left with is questions, I guess your only option is to go with your gut. And my gut was telling me that band of merry men would lead me to some answers. Answers I'd soon wish I'd never received. What was going on here? They looked like the same paramilitaries from the stadium and office attacks. Something felt wrong. In fact, everything felt wrong. Anytime those guys decided to join the party, you could be sure it wasn't gonna end in a piñata and a slice of cake. What the fuck was this? The vigilantes doing an exchange with the death squad cops? Were they buying people? What the hell for? None of this made too much sense. These two were serious operatives. One was a band of hired killers and the other supposed to keep the peace. Yet they were doing deals. Now I had to find Giovanna and Marcello. Without a better plan, I thought I'd better follow this bastard. Here was Giovanna and Marcelo. What the hell were they about to do to him? Prompt time. Jesus. Damn. Yeah, put him out. You bastard. Oh. See, I don't know what the prompt is going to be until I fail it. Uh, what? Okay. Oh no! Why strike A and not right trigger? Look at that fucking uh, machete, by the way. That thing is huge. This part fucking blows. Don't hit it too soon. What if I kick him too soon? Then he'll get hit even closer to before he pulls the gun out. Thank you. Nice die. Thank you. That is the most times I've failed on that part ever. Javon, gonna be okay. No, 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 you don't want to do that. Come on. You don't want to smell that either. Go, 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 go. Why did they do that to Marcelo? It's a legendary gang way of killing people. These are no ordinary street gang. I guess they want people to think they are. With this, they can justify the killings of today and the people they took. 
Quem fez isso? Foi o americano. Foi? Foi? He's blaming you for the death of his friend. Porra, americano. Coisa morre, porra. Caralho. Conta ele. Stop picking. Mata ele. Pode deixar, eu mato. After a couple of hours of lying in shit, you learn to appreciate what you've got. And right now, all we had was each other. Aww. I was a wreck, and Giovanna, well, I knew what she'd seen no amount of drugs or therapy could erase. That kind of pain follows you around forever. The constant shadow of a wasted life. The poor girl had been through enough. We had to find a way out of there. Giovanna was calling Passos. I didn't know if this was a good place to hide or not. When half the local police force and a crew of paramilitary psychopaths want to send you upstairs, I reasoned the crowd was as good a place as any. At least when we got shot, maybe some kind soul would take a video and put it on the internet. Let's go. I just saw a cop looking at me. All right. Passo said there's a good place to hide in the back. I'm just trying to stay calm. <laughs> Stay calm, right? Mm. I know this is fucked up. I'm pretty calm. I'm also pregnant. You're <laughs> shitting me. Me and Raul, Passos, you call him. We just want to live somewhere away from this shit. I understand. I wanted that too, a long time ago. What happened? It just didn't work out that way. Sorry to hear that. Maybe things will be different. For you two, I mean. Passos is a lucky guy. I don't think these guys are here for your baby shower. Down. Stay out of sight. Disperse and look for toda parte. That dude looks like Tyler Perry. Tá bom. Okay, chef. R.I.P. Tyler Perry. Jump back. Be okay, just calm down. I said, Calm down. Are you out of your mind? Way out of his mind. Lucky you, Giovanna. Just wait there. I'm going to be here soon. There isn't going to be a soon if we stay here. We have to move. Giovanna, <laughs> she runs like uh, Florian from Grand Theft Auto 4. Oh, well then.
All right, scavenge time. Try that again. I can't do this. Please die. God damn. All right, I need to be aggressive. Fire. Fuck. Oh boy, I'm in trouble. Look at all these motherfuckers. <laughs> Playing the stagger juggle game. I don't know what that was, but I'll take it. Oh, that was ugly. Short of riding in on a parade float, we couldn't have made our arrival more obvious. We had to hide someplace out of the open. All right, give me that ammo that I so crave. See, the shotgun would have really sucked there. That's why I didn't use it. I had to get this poor girl out of there. Too many long-range targets. Oh my god, Max! Come on. What's going on? What's going on? I don't know, but we gotta get the hell out of here. Let's go. We're not going to make it, are we? We'll be fine. We just gotta lay low till Passos gets here. This wasn't looking good. What the hell were Giovanna and Marcelo thinking going in there by themselves? Guess their plan was no more idiotic than mine, and I couldn't really fault them for losing faith in the Bronco's security detail. Let me just check this. We need to get out of the open. A barely recovering alcoholic and an unarmed pregnant woman. We were hardly a SEAL team. I put our life expectancy at five minutes. Hey, if we were lucky. If you can lift me up there, I'll see if I can lower it down. All right. Hmm. Ready. Right. You got it? Giovanna was a brave girl. She wasn't giving up. And I guess that meant neither could I. Tell me I didn't just leave my rifle down there. Well done. Janata. Stay close and keep quiet. God damn it! He's going to the sacada! Oh no. Time to get Max Payne crazy again. Yeah. <laughs> what now? There's no way down. Hold on. Through to that next room? Uh, yes, I think so. 
Well, that may be our best bet. Go on, I'll meet you there. Are you sure? Yeah, don't worry. I'll find a way through. Just stay quiet and keep down. Yes. Where are the pills at, homie? Oh, yes! Bunga! I was getting good at this. <laughs> I guess this is like a car painting room or something like that. Max! 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 Ah, I can't see a way down here either! It has to be something. Wow, that was a good throw. God damn it. <sighs> Should have shot that fucking guy. That idiot trip over. Oh no. Come on. Man, fucking buttons. When it's you and a pregnant woman against an army of mercenaries, you take what you can get. Yeah. 
As Aventuras do Captain Baseball Bat Boy. Episódio 204. Nosso herói idoso encontrou o esconderijo do Saci, onde ele mantém sua namorada, Bicycle Helmet Girl, como refém. Yes! Ela não é minha namorada. Me ajuda, me ajuda! Me ajuda, Captain Baseball Bad Boy! Mesmo sendo um velho rabugento que ainda usa roupa de jovem. Mas quase ele não consegue levantar o taco. Quando de repente ele tem uma ideia brilhante. Eu tô velho demais pra usar esse taco. Tá na hora de trocar por algo que um velho usaria. Captain Baseball Bad Boy sacou o seu melhor taco de golfe. Assista ao próximo episódio para ver as incríveis aventuras do Captain Baseball Bad Boy! With little hope that things will improve in the next 18 months. A report by human rights organizations documents evidence that up to 200 residents have gone missing from Sao Paulo's low-income neighborhoods in the past three months. An issue which they say is being ignored by both police and city officials. More Latin American news after this. Hotel Mona. An unforgettable place to stay. Oh. I must be losing it. <laughs> Temos escutado no estádio. Ninguém sabia que ele ia ser um problema tão grande. Eu disse que a gente devia ter matado ele no estádio, né? Agora é muito tarde para isso. O que a gente está fazendo aqui? Isso é perda de tempo. That didn't work out. that one on the game. He got stuck on the fucking bus. It's not going as well as yesterday, that's for sure. day had started with us hiding in filth and got progressively worse. My luck was running true to form. Or rather, I was running true to form.
Should we wait here for Passos? No, it's not safe enough. Come on. You're the one breaking in. No, you're the one breaking in. Come on. Leg up. Right. You got it? Open the door. Get my fucking groove back. Give me pills. Oh boy. thinking. Maybe there was a security switch somewhere. She'll never get out of her brain. Shit. This way. This way. Ever driven a bus before? Of course I haven't. Ever shot anybody? No. Well, it's drive or shoot, sister. And right now, I reckon I'll be better at the shooting. Come on, you can do this. As we'll soon find out, now, now, listen, no, she really can't. I give you the word. I want you to slam it into gear, full on the gas. Drive us the hell out of here. What? Just drive the fucking thing straight and keep on going. Relax. You can do this. Ready? Go. Okay, you're doing great. 
What does great mean? Building and get the passers. Tell them to wait for me now. Go. Jump. Go. It's fucking party. Cars are your best friend. just about to run to the roof when my savior and friend, the man whose unborn child I had just killed for, decided to leave without me. Is he supposed to wait? Are you fucking out of your mind? Get in! Quick! I can't believe that bastard just flew off on me. After everything we've been through, I, I saved his girlfriend's life. Who? Raul Passos? Yeah, Raul Passos. Yeah, I don't. I thought you guys were very close. We were. Well, you know what? I did a background check. Jesus. I mean, I thought the two of you worked for Rodrigo Branco. Yeah, so? So? Did you get paid by Victor? Victor? No. Well, Raul Passos did. Six times. Dating back to a few months before you turned up. He even paid for a ticket for him to go to New York. Why? I don't know. My guess is to meet you. But why? I don't know. Maybe he liked you. Maybe he thought you needed a break. That's funny. <laughs> I don't know. Maybe he wanted some dumb gringo to come down here to shoot things up and maybe to take the watch for Rodrigo when he got shot. I don't believe that. Why? Because you're not a dumb gringo? Or because you are? You know, I have no fucking clue anymore. Okay. Let me ask you something. 
What? <laughs> but what is it that you really thought that you were doing down there in Panama? Hmm? And don't tell me you're so naive as to think you were just down there guarding a woman. I didn't know what to say. I had been so loaded in Panama, I could scarcely remember my own name. I know things had got real heavy. A flashback. Panama had been my second job with Passos. Hey, Max. Max. Come on. The first had been easy. Money for banging waitresses at some fancy wedding in the Caribbean. This seemed like another easy gig. It was the middle of the day, and like any self-respecting idiot, I was half cut. No, sir, nothing like doing some good blows, some good friends on a boat. Daphne! Ah, come here, I love this one! Oh, Marcello, you're going to be the set of me? Afraid of more shark! Sure beats New Jersey, huh, Max? Some ways. Hey, come on, it's awesome! Yeah. Everybody's drunk and tanned and listening to house music. Most of them have plastic surgery and they're all doing blow. I guess it is kind of like Jersey, huh? <laughs> That's very funny, Max. Hey, hey soldier. Oh. oh. I gotta quit drinking so much. I give myself serious liver damage. Hey, big deal. You can always get a new one. Relax. I hope you're not drinking on the job, gentlemen. <laughs> Kidding, I hope you are! <laughs> Just stay off the Yale, hmm? I don't have enough to share. I'm kidding again! <laughs> oh, Mikey. Even though we just met, I feel like we are good friends, you know? Mm. I feel like safe with you guys. Know that, like real safe. That's great. Yeah, and I love New York. Uh, the East Hamptons, do you know it? Uh, not really. I, I spent my honeymoon in Montauk. Where's that? Wah, wah. It's just down the road. Whatever. Last time I was there, I got so wasted, I nearly shit myself. <laughs> I didn't know you were married. Yeah, well, my wife passed away. Good. No, not good. Bad. Real bad. But good because now I can get you laid a lot. <laughs> it is great to be single, hey? I love a woman. She's with another, and she doesn't want to know it. Fuck her. I mean, could you believe that shit? Okay. <laughs> Excuse me, I'm going to uh, go to speak to Felipe. Felipe! You crazy crackhead, lay off the yayo, eh? Passos. Walk with me. Yeah. Yeah. What's the deal with this guy, eh? He's kind of stuck up. He's a good guy. Yeah, sure, ta bon, ta bon. But have him smile a bit more, you know? Because life, life is good. <laughs> Where's the truck? It's coming. Hey, soon. Passos. Yeah. I gotta go lay down. Okay. You ever notice Max looks healthier now that his hair is shaved off and he's full psycho? Like here, he looks like shit. <laughs> Drunk boat.
nadie aquí! ¡Esta también está vacía! favor you wanted on this vessel. I still had unfinished business. I'm going to kill everyone before I can look at anything. Dead guys looked like soldiers in one of those Central American guerrilla armies. Pirates with a manifesto. Psychos with a dream. That sort of bullshit. Is there something in here to see? Why is he walking slow? Pirates wouldn't get everything. <laughs> the room belonged to Passos, my partner in crime. Or maybe someone else's. That is not Brazil's flag. I don't know who fuck whose fucking flag that is. Maybe I had a way of making any space my own. Oh fucking sticky notes. Alright, I think I checked everything. Did I check this last one? This was where Marcelo was supposed to be sleeping. He'd barely come down to this deck. Oh, oh boy. Anyway. Maybe I could send out an SOS. First time I'd woken up with a hangover, long after a party had turned sour. The need to get out of the boat's hull and onto the upper deck as soon as possible was countered by the probability of running into another hijacker. I had to move carefully. Esta 
the second I got out of there. I needed one more gulp of fresh air before I died. It was like the need for a wake-up whiskey after a two-day bender. How to shut off the fuel feeds. Spoken like I a shut true down alcoholic. Engine, but it didn't make much difference. Back to smelling like suntan oil, stale margaritas, and greed. I don't know why he came in at an angle like that. Ho oh, ho, see ya. Meant to dive through the door and turn, but I guess he decided to dive at an angle. So this was the famous Panama Canal. We could have gone to the moon while I was passed out and I wouldn't have noticed. It was a different scene than the one I'd stumbled away from. Where was everyone? I still didn't know what the hell happened. They're all here, look. I didn't like to think what was behind the door. Booze, coke, pills. You could get whatever party favor you wanted on this vessel. Oh, no TV for me. Guys up ahead weren't dealing with passengers like the rest of them. Maybe I should have realized then that this was no ordinary kidnap job. Something on the boat had attracted the sharks. Daphne Olivia Bernstein. I had to save some valuables. Hijo de puta, aquí no hay nada. Miguel, ven y There was something firing these guys other than good old-fashioned socialist zeal. What were they looking for?
long gun to blind fire with. There we go. I was on a ghost ship in a ghost canal. The whole thing creeped me the hell out. They didn't help with my sea legs, but they sure as shit felt good. This part is gonna suck. The boat was well appointed. Ah. Oh, that was close. something on the bridge. I checked every other inch of the boat. I spotted Passos and Marcelo. If I'd known back then that they'd been up to no good while I was fighting my way through a band of violent paramilitaries and a worse hangover, I might not have wanted to get over to them so bad. Hey, Passos! At the time, I hadn't thought too much about this. I hadn't thought too much about anything. Now I remember it, it didn't seem quite so kosher. What about, what's her name? Daphne. I do whatever you think is best. I think it's best we try to go find her. Yeah, okay, let's go. Nah. See, I didn't think Passos was a bad guy. He didn't need to try to save this woman or the crew. We're here. I didn't realize you knew your way around here. in that building to get across the canal. Come on! We're gonna get her, let's get her! Let's do it, 
incredibly stupid way. There was some equipment in the truck next to me. It'd be a shame to see it go to waste. Shame to see it go to waste. We can get across up top. find on a boat full of drunks and bullshit artists i'd been the cabaret act shooting whatever came in front of me was easier than coming to terms with that reality fetch them peels yo Is it dead? Come on.
bunch of that time, you fuck. Fancy seeing you here. How could I miss his head any more times? I shot a head-shaped cutout around him. That's how you do it right there. Locked out all my questions. All I thought about was getting to Daphne Bernstein before it was too late. Spoiler alert. It's too late. Jesus Christ. Think things would be like this? What things? He didn't say. I should have jumped in that goddamn canal myself and swum my way back to New York. Yep. Let me ask you again, Max. What do you think you were really doing in Panama? I was drinking. People died. Innocent people. Who do you think robbed you? I don't know. I was told it was people who disliked Daphne Bernstein. Something about an unpleasant divorce. Her ex-husband worked on Wall Street. 
Do you think he has easy access to Panamanian death squads? Guess I didn't really think about it. You were smuggling something, weren't you? No, no, no. I mean, I didn't realize it at the time. I, I didn't think too much about it, but yes, Marcelo did drive off with something. I don't know what, I didn't see him until we got to Brazil a week or so later. I think it was money. I think Marcelo and Victor have a friendly banker there in Panama. Your little cruise was to deliver the cash to him because there it's easier to launder. But I thought the Broncos were rich. How'd he go rich? The other two, they live well, but they don't have real money. Victor's campaigns were always financed by his brother. That is the way among certain rich families there. The eldest brother is the king. You know, he gets everything. The other two, not so much. And now Rodrigo's dead. Exactly. And Marcelo, too. It's an awful tragedy for Victor, huh? A man running on a law and order ticket, you know, whose brothers have both been killed in such terrible circumstances. A true patriot. What about Marcelo? Marcelo. Marcelo was an idiot. For this true, I certainly don't believe he could possibly have known about it. But I do believe some other scheme, you know, some other bullshit. Whatever that cash was, Victor could have talked him into something. I don't know yet. And Passos? Well, Passos is a bum ex-cop. He failed in America, failed in Sao Paulo. He was surrounded by more money and more poverty than his tiny little head can handle. You think guys like that can't be bought? No, but if... But nothing. He's probably not a bad guy. He's just a man caught in the crossfire of a very rich family. What about me? You. You're the fall guy. The American. Running around, acting like the action hero. Killing lots of people. <laughs> You're a stroke of genius. That ain't how it is. You were an angry ex-cop. You were sitting in a bar with a history of violence and a history of a bad temper. You were perfect. Me and Passos went to the academy together. Did you? I don't fucking know. <laughs> Let's take a drive, Max. You wanna do some good, hmm? You wanna get yourself killed in a good cause? Then I need you to check something out for me. Like what? That incident at the favela today. Now, some of my officers say a bus drove off some captives. They did, I saw it. But no captives were ever booked. They probably handed them off to the paramilitary death squads, the, uh... Casa Preto. Right. Who did? I don't know, the cops. The other cops. The cops who shoot on sight. The Ufe. Right. Max, you see that building there? The Imperial Palace Hotel. Yeah, that's what it says. People go in there, in large groups, under armed guard. But it isn't a police station, and no one comes out of there. Why don't you just go in and bust the joint, get a warrant? I'm only a cop, Max. So you keep saying. <clears throat> Time to find out what was going on here. I didn't fancy booking myself in the presidential suite, so went looking for the basement. too excited about the acoustics in this place. A couple of gunshots would sound like I'd walked in here with a goddamn marching band. Good thing that roll of tape was sitting there. It wasn't pretty, but I guess none of what was about to happen was gonna be. That'll work for maybe one bullet. It was the question I kept on asking myself. How could I have been so blind? I was convinced the Broncos had gotten the wrong man for the job, but maybe De Silva was right. I was the stooge. The bad joke everybody got but me. Yeah, you know what they were throwing in there. 
solid evidence for De Silva. Ufe. I mean, we already know they're kind of in cahoots. That's just more proof. The Imperial Palace Hotel was a five-star bonafide shithole. I needed to find out why guests were checking in by the bus load and checking out by the bag load. Maybe the service would be better upstairs. Você não tá fazendo nada, eu tô fazendo tudo sozinho. Como é que eu não tô pegando nada, rapaz? Tô tão... Oh, boy. Oh, my God. Try to pick up one gun and you pick up a different one instead. I wish I had grenades. so bad.
uh, see, he's Colombian. I don't think that was a Colombian flag, though. I looked it up. Which ammo does the RPD have in it? That was close. I need pills. That guy's got an RPD too. I hadn't slept in days. I needed something to keep me going. Let's try it, it's different. Now let's switch guns later. I knew this thing was bigger than me, bigger than the Broncos, but I only had a glimpse of the whole picture. Like looking in the mirror and for an instant seeing what everyone else sees, a bad caricature of a better man. Max Payne, self-aware. Oh, this is already not as accurate, I can tell. Crosshairs are big. Ufe, that deal at the favela was getting dirtier by the minute. Those bastards were clearly in bed with the crush of Prado. Now we just had to find out why. Starting with a bit of bedtime reading for Mr. Da Silva. When you've lived the kind of life I've lived, reality comes at you through a different lens. But nothing could have prepared me for what was on the other side of that door. I had to get those poor bastards out of there. Get them out of here. Go. Go. Wait. I said get. Serrano. Serrano. He looked pathetic. A man defeated. I walked away and left him to his own personal nightmare. Whatever hell this was De Silva had sent me into, I knew I had to put an end to it. I had no choice but to push on. There goes my RPD. I didn't understand everything, and I never would, but I understood enough. Sometimes a complicated problem is best tackled with a simple solution.
This was hell on earth. De Silva was no fool. I'd have driven on off into the sunset too if I were him. But I was in too far now. There it was, the soundtrack to my life. And, for a few seconds, came harmony. Finally. <laughs> yep, you're fucking nuts. Plastic surgery guy the from the party. What's going on here? In the commercial. How, how much do you want? What have you been doing? I am a doctor. I help people. What have you been doing here? It's easy for you. Listen, I know people. They will kill you. I can help you. Trust me. Please, please. What have you been doing? I have a lot of money. Look, look. Lots of money. I do important research, please. Caralho! Caralho! Espera, espera. Eu posso explicar tudo. Tudinho! Não, não. Por favor. Pelo amor de Deus. Por favor, não me mata. Não, não. Pelo amor de Deus! <laughs> For all Serrano owed me, he paid enough. For now, I had bigger debts to call in. Even I could guess what Demolisal meant. That building was condemned in more ways than one. fucking arsenal in here. It was time to bring this little hellhole to the ground, so I decided to put some of their C4 to good use. When you find yourself in hell, dance with the devil. It's time to party! seen some dark shit in my time, but this was something else. These vermin had gone into a place where life was cheap and found a way to get rich off it. I just wanted to finish this and get far away from here. But then, true to form, more of the rats came out of their holes. Let's fucking dance! At 
least my visitors have been kind enough to leave the gate open. Oh, the snipers just happen to be there. Death, fucker. Eh. Oh no! Shit! <laughs> that was close! Any time I'd bought it had been going real cheap. If I was gonna plant the rest of those explosives, I had to do it now. Choke point. Any more coming? Guess not. That was the last of the explosives. I just hoped it was enough to bring down the building. And all the evil in it. Vai, vai, rápido, rápido, vai. Who wants to take a shot? You see what this is? Come on, anybody? Wanna be a hero? I got nothing to lose, let's do it! Que porra que tá acontecendo aqui? Senor Nevis. What the fuck is your problem, man? <laughs> my problem? My problem? Wanna know what my problem is? You're turning humans into glue! That's what my fucking problem is! I don't know what you're talking about, American! All I know is what I hear about you. You bodyguard for the Brancos. They are all dead. You help the poor. Today, many of them dead. You were a proper American hero. At least I fucking tried. Yeah, that's the spirit. Well done with your effort. <laughs> the whole city is grateful. The great American savior of the poor. That's right. You think you made any difference? You think stopping this legitimate business venture is helping anyone? <laughs> Legitimate. Love his accent. You're stealing people's organs! We pay for everything! We have the record! Oh, so people can sell their livers? Their hearts? Their eyeballs? You're insane, you sick fuck! We kept people safe in the city! Decent people! Safe! I know a lot of powerful people. <laughs> well, your powerful people aren't gonna help you out of this one, buddy. As you know, Max Payne is nuts. Oh boy. Oh 
Oh boy. Feel free to die at any time. Pizzles. Very low. Stop rumbling, collapsing building. Jesus. There we go, party time. Whoa, 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 whoa! Get the fuck up, you idiot! Oh, now I start cover. Gun ain't cutting it. Every time I aim, I'm either reloading or a rumble happens. You gotta shoot these fuckers in the head, otherwise they take way too long to kill. Fuck, stop! Or throw off his aim. It's just something. Make him stumble. Jesus, that was a fucking nightmare. <sighs> I told you the city was dangerous, friend. I kinda like it. It's grown on me. <laughs> nice to see your happy tourist smiling. <laughs> oh, face. What the fuck are you doing here? I came back. I can see that. But why? To save you. Oh, yeah, real hero. How'd you know to Mrs. come here? No, come with me, Max. To Brazil. It'd be a chance to play the fall guy in a plot that my boss and brother's hatching to profit from the selling of human organs. Yeah, it'll be perfect for you. What are you talking about? I don't know nothing about human organs, man. Victor and Marcelo are trying to teach Rodrigo a lesson. Get him to loosen the purse strings and the family money. They pressured me into doing it. You wanna die? I came back for you. I did my best. I'm having a kid, Max. I gotta go. <laughs> Fuck you. Sure. Later. Now, let's go. Hope this thing works. Everything. No, you don't. I'm sorry I couldn't save your sister. I was there. It wasn't your fault. I was paid to protect her, and I didn't. She married into a sick family. Maybe. I... I just wanted to say thank you. 
for giving us a chance to live. I mean, as a family. I hope it all works out for you, for all of you. Thank you. Don't be too long. Well, buddy, that's it. Where are you guys gonna go? Uh, I don't know, maybe back to New York. Uh, maybe down to Argentina. Giovanna has family in Salvador. Maybe we'll just stay there. Yeah, I got business to take care of. Uh, I I'm sorry I, I dragged you into this. I know, uh, I, I know it was very wrong. It's all right, it's done. But hey, I'm having myself a fun old time. Maybe this is how things had to be. Figure I might as well die in the sunshine as die in the snow. Look, I'm sorry I'm leaving. I, I got a kid coming, you, you know how it is. I know how that is. You know, I, I almost didn't say goodbye to you. I said to myself, maybe this guy will put a bullet in me. Maybe I will, but not right now. Thank you. Try to look after yourself, Max, huh? Life is worth living. If you say so, pal. I thought I was going to have to witness another murder. <laughs> nah, not him. You ready? I guess. Okay. I've uh, looked through this information you gathered. Uh, it's not very nice. What is it? It's the Ufe. The famous <sighs> Mr. Becker. Friend of Victor Bronco. <laughs> yes. And a contributor to his campaigns. A government employee, of course. And? A weapons dealer. A murderer. This was known. A dealer in human organs. This wasn't known. A proper gentleman. Mm, sure. So you're gonna bring him down? <laughs> yes, because I want to lose my wife and my children and then get killed myself. All that after watching him walk free. Tell me what has to be done. I think well, you officially, know. there's uh, nothing I can do. And unofficially? Well, we can always try something a little more creative. De Silva had promised me a 10 o'clock showcase. I had to make sure I was on stage and ready for my close-up. Diga a Becker. Que vim para ele. Convidado nosso. Quebra esse otário aí. Deixa comigo, dá uma lição nele. <risos> então, o pai dela não diz. Patrão, filha da puta! Perde no frente! O que é que você vai fazer? Você vai ser que te dou alguma aqui? É aqui que você vai me acontecer, cara! Tá pensando o quê? Ah, onde é que você vem? Ah! Vem, fica aí, cara. Eu! Se fudeu, filha da puta! Otário! Não, 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 Deixa eu sair daqui, velho! Ô, 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 segura a porta aí! What a wonderful place! Eu vi uma outra versão. Essa aqui, ô, tá escutando. Valeu, mas eu vi aquela parada lá, hein? Morou. Valeu, amigo. What are you doing here? I, I don't understand. I can't hear you. What are you what doing, are you here? doing you here? Hit me in the ear. Hey, answer me. <laughs> hit what are me you in doing the here? ear. Ah, 
he's faking it. Back in the precinct after all this time. Time to find out what the hell was going on. This is as good as place as any to uh, I knew nothing resembling save. good times lay beyond that gate, but I was gonna have to face the music sooner or later. We'll uh, finish this game off next time.